The main colours that I'm choosing to use to make my duck are the Renshaw's Yellow and the Renshaw's Orange. I have a small amount of icing sugar and some edible glue and some very basic cake decorating tools. So I've got the Dresden tool, the ball tool, and I'm also choosing to actually design my duck on this five inch round cake board, using it as a guide, as my duck's going to be placed on an eight inch round cake. Taking a very small amount of my Renshaw's yellow fondant, I want to start by making the duck's body. This is a very, very simple shape. To so start by rolling your fondant into more of a cone shape. And then, as you can see, just using my finger, I'm just pushing down on the back part. Where the head's going to go, I want that to be larger than I do the back. And I also want it to be more of in a triangular kind of shape when you're looking at it from the top. I've taken my cake board just there just to make sure it stays the size I need it to. And I've also dusted that down with a small amount of icing sugar to prevent this from sticking. I will now speed up this process so that you can see just what I'm actually doing to the duck's body. No fancy equipment required. It's all shaped by hand. So for our duck's head, I'm just using a basic round shape. This is how my body has turned out and I'm going to secure the head on there with a lollipop stick and a small amount of edible glue. I haven't mentioned this yet but I haven't turned any of this fondant into modelling paste at all. All you need for a basic shape like this is fondant, there's no need to add any extra tyro powder. This lollipop stick will just help secure the head and prevent it from wobbling off whilst the duck is drying. So once you've got the head on there, start by actually shaping the front into more of a beak-like shape. You can see here I'm just shaping the fondant with my fingers. I'm then going to take a knife and cut directly in there. Now, this isn't going to be the beak because the beak needs to be orange. But by doing this, I know where the beak needs to go and I'm then actually going to cut it off to add that lovely orange beak. So you can see here, once you've manipulated the shape, this is what you're aiming to achieve. Now, yes, we're going to be chopping off that mouth section, but by doing it like that, I now know where to put the eyes. Because where the mouth is at the moment, I want it to be completely orange. So for the eyes, if you've got a ball tool, it'll make it really handy. If not, don't worry, because you can just add a small amount of white fondant. But all I'm doing here is inserting the ball tool on either side, just so I know exactly where I want to place my duck's eyes. Now I'm going to add the beak. So as you can see on the actual duck topper, I have actually cut off where the beak originally was. I've taken a small piece of that Renshaw's orange fondant and rolled it into a ball, which has then been cut in half. I'm now going to stick this exactly where I have just cut off that yellow fondant. And then just like we did with the yellow fondant, taking a sharp knife and creating an indentation bang in the centre, you're able to create a beautiful beak, just like you did originally with the head, but this time with the orange. Just manipulate this until it looks how you want it to look, and then we'll get on to the next step, the duck's eye. For the eyes, just take a small amount of white fondant first, roll this into a ball and place it into each of the holes that you've created for your eyes. You then want to repeat that process so it looks just like that image there. So now I'm using a very small amount of turquoise glue 
and I shall be gently pushing this onto white fondant and then inside of the turquoise blue a small amount of black and this is what your gorgeous little toy duck will be looking like so far we just need to add a few wings and maybe a little pink bow for the wings, it's really easy. Simply roll out a cone shape in your Renshaw's yellow fondant. And as you can see here, I'm just gently pushing it down with my fingers. It really is as easy as that. And then I'm going to make sure that I've got two of these that are identical, one for either side of my duck. Just to add a little bit more detail, here I have got a small circle cutter and I'm just going along this part of the wing that's the largest. Now simply stick both of the wings to either side of your duck. I'm just choosing to add a pink bow but I do have a mould for this. Now. The next part, I'm going to show you what it looks like on a decorated cake board. I have a separate tutorial on the piece of equipment that I used to decorate this cake board. It's a completely different type of tutorial, but the impression that you get on there can also be used on a cake. So if you'd like to know more about that, I will leave a link in the description below this video for you. But for now, I just want to show you the finished piece. This duck is now ready to go directly onto your cake. Or like I have just said, if you want to, you can decorate your cake board as well. How adorable does our little duck look? So, again, the board has been covered using a completely different mould. And I've got a separate tutorial if you choose to purchase one of those but it's not necessary for this tutorial I just wanted to give it a bit more of an effect I've also added some small amounts of white fondant as you can see and I've also added it to the duck just to give the effect of more bubbles this can now go directly on the cake with a few supports underneath just to hold the weight but I hope I've helped you again today I will be back next week Sunday at 7pm with more new free content. Happy baking everyone and I'll see you all soon.